Episode two, let's go! I'm back from America, and guys, the reason I was breathing quite badly because I've got bronchitis. So it's like bron broccoli, but broncholitis. So, yeah, I was out in America in the last few days there. I was bed bone. I'm a bit jet lagged. Um, I don't usually get jet lagged, but being out there for two weeks, it's catching up with me. So let's just see a light training session this week. Obviously, you can see we're using the uh, yeah, elephant bar, and uh, that's because it's going to be at the Arnold, as guys know as well. Arnold events have been announced. They've been really good events for self and Luke. That's our first competition of the year. So, yeah. Train for a 505 deadlift, plus do it on an elephant bar. Easy. What's up? You joining us? Yes, so I'm joining Big Tom for the... I'm not going for 505, obviously, but um, we've switched it, so one of the events you guys, if you're interested, you probably would have seen the Arnold events. It's the elephant bar deadlift. So um, we're very fortunate we've got an elephant bar here. So we're going to train on that. So I think it'll be a good test, a great test for Tom to see where he can, where he's at in March. Um, and then I'm obviously training this as well for Arnold's. So hopefully we can get the numbers back up quite quickly. Stay tuned for Big Tom Stoltman Road to 505 episode two. <laughs> What is the goal for this month, bro, and this training session? This uh, session's goal is to get through it. You know, I've had two weeks off the gym. I thought I was going to be able to train out there, but the first hotel I went to didn't have a gym, the second one did, but I was ill. So, yeah, two weeks not train, so it's been a long time. But, yeah, this session, I think, is too, I don't know what it is, 240, 250. It's light anyway to get back into it, and then the goal for the end of this month. So the end of this month will be, I want to go heavier on the um, elephant bars and max at Arnold, so I need to push a bit, but it'll be over 3.30. Just don't know what you have. I'm not out of breath, I'm just ill. Wrong place. Wrong place. How about you buddy, what's your goal for this episode? Yeah, kind of 3.20ish. So what we were, yeah, so back up to about 320-ish, I suppose. I think that's a reasonable expectation, I hope. I thought I had it. It's in your mouth. <laughs> mm. What are we doing today, Big Tommy? I'm just going to go up to a set of heavy double to see when about. Um, I want to feel some weight, you know. So the last seven, eight weeks I've been just reps and deadlifts. So I want to just try and feel some weight and see. Where I like to say next week's a deload and then first of January it's kick on. So. What are you thinking for the heavy? What wait? I don't know. Let's see. Let's just see. Yeah, a double to end the the deadlift block and then, as Tom says, yeah, hit it hard in January. Cause we got the Arnolds to get down. <laughs> Yeah, 
welcome to the two time champ at Britain's Strongest Man. I'm going to do 505 in 2024. I hope I win two times world because I'm Tom Stockman and I love this spot. <laughs> All good so far, mate. Just uh, taking some precautions. I just need to get used to wearing a belt again because it really cuts my breathing off when I'm when I'm deadlifting. So just need to get used to that again. Stopping a little. I'm saying. Boom. Do 300, 300, I do 320. It's just. Do it, you feel good? Yeah, fine, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Was that the heaviest I've lifted on in a while? Look. I think so, eh? I went been up quite heavy. As Tom says, we've just been progressing up. Um, more rep stuff, but now, you know, we know the events for Arnold. We know we need to put a bit more emphasis on that one rep stuff. You know, the stronger we get, the more it'll help, so, which is dead obvious, because we're strong men. This is your heaviest pool, right? Are the series? Yeah, I'm a deadlift boy. Wow, I'm gonna put my run off the series. If I get it. There's no ifs, Tom. When I get it. When? Sorry, guys. World strongest man. Right here. Right now. What have you got? No cows, Remember, the stronger you get, the more it'll help. Easy there, come on. Let's go. Up, oh, come on. That feels smooth. No bad, that's really high, no bad. You want for heavier? I'll say I might put 340 on, I'll 340, help you. Bar bends, I can What's the most difficult thing when the bar bends? The control and stabilizing at the top. Um, when you pull it, just. So I'm trying to pull you down, but you have to kind of control it. Control it also. Very hard, hard bar to pull. But you can yank it before it and it bends. Basically, you're basically standing up before you even pull it off the ground, boys. <laughs> One and done. <coughs> Healthy. Go, go. Come on, get it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> oh, oh, I was thinking. Right, lucky that was deadlift, not squat, man. Oh, yeah. That's why, like, I always get shouted out for going to the toilet before I train. That is exactly why you train. You go to the <laughs> so eight eggs. <laughs> oh, look at it. Come on, come on! Alright. It's just weak. I hate failing. Easy weights. Come on, Tom! Come on! Come on! Nice. nice one, buddy. Yeah, buddy. 
A little bonus? Yeah, hot enough for that. Um, it was, yeah, it's the heaviest I've pulled in all my prep to shower, so nice wee bonus and a nice wee pull, so happy. Especially in this with the whippy bag, so um, I've been getting used to no figure of eights. It's the first time I've not used figure of eights in a while either, so yeah, nice. You got it, mate. Come on, Luke. Come on, get it. Come on. Nice. Come on. Push. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in there, mate. I wasn't a little bitch. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Just you need to get out of your head sometimes. It annoys me. When you think about it too much, isn't it? It's like 320 kilos, it's easy. Obviously, at the start, I think it's like, because it's a different bar and it's whipping. Kind of like you know, it looks much better me at squatting because when I do a safety bar squat, I think it's a different bar. But I need to just start learning. Deadlift, it's just a deadlift. Go in and pull it. Doesn't matter if the bar's whippy, the bar's stiff, the bar's thick, the bar's thin. Pull it. It's a deadlift. It's a bar. Pull it. Right, guys, I will see you in the deal. That's my last heavy session of the year. We got a deal, and then it's starting 2023 with a bang. Perfect. That was our last week of our deadlift sessions done. This week, the final week, we are doing deload sessions. So Monday, all the way through to Thursday, we do squats, push press, box jump, and hollow holds, as you see. Four. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, two, three. Halfway there, Tom, come on. I have a tiger. Tom, don't. <laughs> Keep up there. Come on. This is hard to win the world, so. So, uh, sorry. reason we do this is because we've just had a brutal three weeks of training. Um, our bodies are kind of wrecked and we need a rest. Dan usually gives us a deload every four to six weeks. So this is the fourth week and uh, yeah, we need to recharge our batteries mentally and physically. This just gets our body, keeping our body warm and ticking over, but it also builds up aggression. When you go into the gym, you, know, you want to let your aggression, your stress out and all the heavy weights. This just builds up that anger and builds up that like adrenaline that when you go in back in on Monday, which is my new block, I'll be ready to go. So that's the kind of goal is Monday is going to be our new block and training big for the Arnold. So I'll be feeling fresh. I'll be feeling ready and ready just to tear all the weights off the floor and my body will be feeling 100%. So I cannot wait. So that's a kind of reason why I myself and Luke do it. I think anybody that lifts weights should do it. You know, if you're feeling fatigued after maybe four or five weeks of a program, take a deload week and just do as little as you can for the whole week. Maybe three exercises, nice and light. Free freeze like you say, see here with me and Luke. So yeah, do that. And also, it's the new year, 2023. Happy New Year. And I hope you guys are watching World's Strongest Man tonight because uh, there's a new champ in town. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed. Another good episode of training with myself and Luke. We were doing some elephant bar deadlifting and some spicy stuff that uh, we've not really done before. So yeah, it was all good. Go check out the Stoughton Strength Academy if you want to become strong, sexy and spicy like us. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And a quick word just before we do the outro. Next week it is the road 200, 230 kilo log press. Big Tommy's going to join us see what we can get up to. We're going to push it, we've got it at Arnold's, really excited. And what do they do again, Tom? Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Da -da -da! Guys, so today I'm going to walk you through the walk press. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 